Good morning. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. I'm Lauren. Wearing our red and our green. This is our last class in the, at the bar for 2021. Join us in 2022. But let's start with tendus. But even before that, Lauren's foot warm up. Go for at it. At your bar in parallel. Let's first just grip the floor, squeeze our cheeks, pull our kneecaps up, brace our core, root our feet. And then from there, push both feet into the floor and find a gentle rise. And then control the down with nice straight knees. From here, we'll take a foot and we'll pull to that demi position. Push some weight into that demi position and then use your toes to get to that point. Allow your toes to gently flex or roll over. Let's sickle or wing our foot out to the side and say a no, 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 no. Bring it back in and then back over the foot and down. Heel connects, hip extends. Same thing on the other side. Feel that pull. Push some weight straight down. Then use the toes to point. Gently flex or curl over. Sickle it, wing it out, wing it back in. Get it back over the toes. Ball of foot, heel connects, hips extend. From here, knees will gently press over our toes and then we'll extend our hips to straight knees and find a light rise and then control the down. This time we'll go up, then we'll bend the knees, connect the heels and press to tall. And one last time up, knees towards over toes. Could you hold this bent leg position on your toes? And then reconnect the heels and press to tall. Before we come to that first position, let's do a little forward fold. With our head or chin reaching up towards the sky, we'll tuck our chin and slowly roll ourselves forward. And as we come down here, try to imagine those hips staying underneath you and not pushing back. Come on all the way down and just hang out for a second. Maybe bend those knees and then straighten them and then bend them again, and then straighten. And once you're there, stack up using the abs on both sides of your spine to pull yourself all the way through to tally tall. Tally tall. Tally tall. From here, come back to your bar. From our parallel, we'll squeeze our butt, we'll rotate those feet open to that first position. And from the first position, let's quickly do the same thing to the demi point, drive down, then get to our toe toe, then gently roll over the toes. Get back to the toe point, through the ball of the foot, heel comes down, hip extends. Repeat on the other side, feel that pull to that demi position. Then get to the point. Then gently allow those toes to roll over. Go back to the toe point, through the demi, heel comes down and extend. Let's push down into the floor to grow up and then control the down. And then we'll go up to find our balance knees towards over the toes, the heels will connect, and then we'll press to tall. Let's do that one more time, we'll grow up, we'll bend our knees, then our heels will connect, and then we'll press to tall. Bring those feet back to parallel, let's come back into the center and do another descent. This time, we'll lead keeping that heart chest nice and long. Spine stays long for as long as possible, and then we'll continue down through that fold. Again, let's hang out here for a second. Maybe you like those knees bent and then to gently try to straighten them as you tip your tailbone to the ceiling. Repeat one more time, bend the knees, try to tip the tailbone to the ceiling as you straighten and then slowly stack up one vertebrae at a time. Whew, we have one more routine for me and that's where we'll go back to our first position. We'll point our leg out to the side. Right away, let's have that demi point down the inseam facing forward. Now for five, point your toes, demi point. Point your toes, demi point. Three more, feel that work all the way up the back of the leg. Keep the knee nice and straight, and you're doing this from the foot calf, not the hip. Now pull that foot down, transfer weight, same thing other side. From the demi point to point point. Demi, point, demi, point. Two more, two, inseam forward, one. Place the foot down, come to center. From here, we'll do our knees towards over toes, sinking low, and then press to tall. Repeat, pull yourself down. Can we find a light balance on our toes here? Hold maybe for a second. Then heels will come down, press to tall. We'll go up out of here, knees towards over toes. 
hold again, then heels connect, drive to tall, transfer weight, point, close, in, shake. Shake, rattle, and grab a bar again. Let's return to that first position, plies. Arm could be at the side, second here or on the hip. Pull yourself down, stretch, pulling the knees tall. Out front, press to tall. For the third repetition, as Lauren prepared, let's lift those heels, push the heels down, and finish tall, and find a first position balance. Return to the floor. Tendu, that second position, same thing. Pull, low, full stretch. Pull yourself low, incorporate that full stretch. And one more time, pull low, lift the heels, press the heels to tall. And again, Whoops. our second position balance. Return to the floor. Let's tendu to the side, rond to the front. Doesn't have to be overcrossed by much, but with those hips facing forward, we'll plie on flat feet and stretch. Plie on flat feet and a stretch and then plie, then lift those heels, pulling them off the floor, connect, full stretch, tendu to the front, and oh. back. Lovely balance, Lauren. If you're in that balance, A+, plus. we'll get that on the other side. Turn yourself around, tendu to the side, and then we're on to the front. We'll pull ourselves down in that fourth position, plie and stretch, and then pull low and stretch. Pull low with flat feet, Get lower by pulling those heels off, then connect, full stretch, and then don't forget that balance. Hold that fourth position balance, return to the floor, tendu to the front, and pull back to first. Shake it out. For those of you new with that tendu terminology, let's review that from standing. Arm to the side, tendu with a flat foot to the front. Flat foot to that demi, and then demi point those toes. Point, pull point. the leg through to the side with a flat foot, then the demi followed by the point. Pause. Is that inseam facing forward? Great. Then pull underneath to the back with a straight leg, demi point next, finish with a toe point and pull back in through first. More terminology on quoi, meaning front, side, back, and then side. So flat foot to the side, demi point next, tendu, Pull in. Now let's go articulating through the foot to the front and first to the side and first back, first side. One more time. Now two front for two, one, two side, one and two and back and two and side for two. Then climb up that leg, challenge our first balanced position here today, flat foot. Ankle, coup de pied position, toes point down, knees point side, hips press forward, then return to that first position. Whether it's a hop, skip to jumps, tendus or plies, soutenu yourself around and repeat on the other side. Tendu, flat foot to the front, demi point next, finish with those toes, hips forward, leg back. To the side, demi, point, pull through the floor in. To the back with the straight leg, then the demi, finish with the toes, pull through. En quoi means last to the side, flat, demi, point, pull all the way back in. Now front for one, first, side for one, first, back for one, first, and side. Now two, to the front, and side, and side, and back, and back and side for two. Then we'll pull up, find that coup de pied ankle position. The hips are forward. We're still turned out on that standing leg with a bum cheek cramped. Use your balance aid as you need. Test yourself without, and then press back down to your first position. From bar stuff to core stuff with Lauren, take it away. To the core on the floor. Let's fold back down. So extended head, then we'll tuck our chin. As you come down here, I want you to think that those top vertebrae, then the vertebrae behind your chest start caving or rolling forward. Keep those blades together. Then the vertebrae behind the belly button. 
And then through that low back, low to forward fold in half. We'll walk ourselves out. First regular plank, let's just fire everything up. Feet go back, hips tuck, hands spread out, cheeks squeezed, core brace, breathe. Pull the floor together underneath you without moving. Pull your hands to your feet, pack your shoulders. I couldn't move you if I came through the screen and tried to push you over for four, three, two, tailbone tips up. Slowly walk your hands to your feet and then use those muscles on the front and the back of the spine to stack yourself up all the way through to tall. Back to tall. It's bar tasks, it's core tasks, and porter bra tasks for the shoulders. Elevate the shoulders as a shrug and then pu push them down. Push down, reach forward. Forward trace with the eyes, those arms out to your second position, and then back through center. Armpits stay low as you reach out front. Look out to the side and back down. Then look at the hands down low in first and then trace it out to the side in second. Then with those armpits staying tight to the body and low, return the hands to the ground. And last time to the side, to the front, trace with your eyes and return to first. And then shake. Back to our bar now, Lauren, where we will be working on our degages. Similar to the tendu, but degages are off the floor with a little more pop. So as Lauren just did there, let's go degage to the front and side. And then back and then side. And let's go two to the front, front and front, side and side, back and back, side and side. Now three, front and front and front. Side and side and side, back, straight behind. Flick those toes inside for three, two, one. Then pull in, find that ankle balance, flat foot if that's for you, or gently find that demi point raise, fingertip on the bar or not, but the drive is through the foot down, the knee is straight, the bum is squeezed, and return to the floor with control. Hmm. Ooh, hop, skips, jumps. Tendus, plies, have fun with your practice today. Let's repeat. Degage front, degage side, degage back and side. Now two to the front for two. And side and side. Back, straight behind and side and side. Front for three, two, one. Now side for three, two, one. And back and back and back and last side for three. Two, one, then pull in, coup de pied ankle, squeeze your bum cheek, stay flat footed, just like Lauren did, grow up by driving down through those feet, metatarsals, whatever they are, balls of feet, hold for a second longer, then return to that first position and add just a little bit of a shake, not to the floor quite yet, Lauren, let's integrate our favorite flowers and back. So with the hand to the side, we'll pull up to the ankle, then to the front. Give the flowers. Then pull back to first. Then take tendu, back to the ankle and down. Let's repeat to the side, knee side, point, pull, point, knee side, down. Then to the back, knee side first, strike the back, pull through to the back, knee side and down. To finish on quoi, knee side, side. First, side, knee side, down. We'll revisit this in a second, but first, switch it around and repeating on the other leg. Knee side, front, first and front. Knee side, down. Knee side, strike the side, pull to first, side. Knee side and down. Now find the back of the ankle, strike the back, front. Back, find the back of the ankle, return, and lastly, on quoi side. First, side, knee side, stand tall. Let's return to that in a second. Until then though, Lauren, what do you got for that core on the floor? We're gonna come down to our bear hover position. Bear hovers, okay. Let's extend that spine, reaching forward, and then lightly fold. From here, we'll walk ourselves out. Let's start in our six points of contact. So hands underneath your shoulders, Knees underneath your hips, toes tucked. 
with the neutral spine core brace, start pulling the floor together, pulling your hands towards your knees and just feel that tension in your core for three. Now change the pattern and pull on a diagonal, right hand to left knee and left hand to right knee for three, two, and then relax. Either stay there or add on by lifting the knees one or two inches off the floor and doing the same thing. Pull your hands towards your knees, hold, three, two, now change the direction of tension and cross it. X pattern, three, two, back to railroad tracks, three, two, back to X, three, two, tailbone tip, lift the hips, slowly walk the hands back to the feet, stack yourself all the way up to tall, again, head is last on top. Ha. <sighs> Love it. Returning to the porta bra. Change up your position first towards that second stance. Arms down low. Shrug, but just once, because throughout those armpits or lats, stay low as those hands reach towards overhead. Trace with the eyes as you go from overhead to the side second, and second back down to first. Again, front. Tracing with the eyes as you look up and out, and soft return to center. Same movement, but to the lateral first. So I'll trace with my eyes, reaching out to the side. Then overhead, armpits stay low, shoulder blades flush with the rib cage, pulling back down. Then out to the side again, armpits stay low to overhead, and pull back down. And then, <sighs> let it wiggle. For this drill, let's put together our favorite plies with the favorite développés. So in that first position, we'll go développé to the front and to the front, knee side down, plie and stretch. Then to the back, the strike and first and back and knee side and down, plie and stretch. Front again, first and front and side and down and plie and stretch. Knee side and back, first and back, knee side and down, plie and stretch. One more time, knee side, front, first, front, knee side, down, plie and stretch. Back, strike, first to the back, knee side, down, plie and stretch. And from here, let's just climb the leg, stay there down low at the ankle, find materi at the knee, hips forward, knee side, shoulders, ribs stacked over top of those hips, hold for a second longer, and back down. Hmm. Switching sides. I don't think I'm great bind yet today. So here we go on the other side. Knee side, strike front. First, front. Knee side, down, plie and stretch. Knee side, back. First, back. Knee side, down, plie and stretch. Knee side, front. First, front. Knee side, down, plie, and stretch. Knee side and back, first and back. Knee side, down, plie, and stretch. Last one to the front, first and front. Knee side, down, plie, to stretch. Knee side, back, first and back. Knee side, down, plie, stretch, then climb. Toes point, knee side, hips forward, hips level, rib cage over hips. Breathe, 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 and slowly place down to the floor. Let's stay standing, Lauren, what do you think? Or go down to the floor for the core? It's floor for a core. Core for the floor time, floor on the core time. Wait, you want to do another leg though? Okay, then I want you to do it now. Okay. Yeah, Let's double do legs, right make it burn, Ian. Double legs. Here, introducing that fondue. So on a single leg, we'll plie. Which leg do I like to do, sorry? My inside leg. So plie on a single leg, tondu to the front, hips through. Then to the side, hips through to the back. Hips through on quad is to the side and through. Now climb up to the ankle, just off the floor, same effort. Plie front, knee side. To the side, knee side, to the back. And lastly, to the side. Now climb a little more. At that knee, same effort. Plie, stretch. Plie and stretch tall to the back and through and to the side. Now stay here at the knee, flat foot if that's for you, or drive down those metatarsal heads, those knuckles of the feet, and hold your balance for another second or two, 
and return slow. I know I see some comments there. I hope some of them are legitimate. Good morning. Good morning. Same effort on the other side, starting low. It's the ton, fondue, fondue and stretch. stretch. Fondue and stretch to the back and stretch and side. Then climb up to that ankle and just off the floor as you go front, knee side stretch, side, stretch tall, to the back and to the side. Now climb up the leg one more go and same effort, stretch out the front with the leg and stretch tall after that plie. Lastly, to the back. Not lastly. To the side, thank you, Lauren. Then we're here at the knee. Stay there flat-footed, challenge yourself with your balance. If you can't get very high on that demi point without your balance aid, that's okay. Link those positions to make it challenging rather than using your bar and <laughs> crashing down. Progress your strength. Now Take it's it core on now the it's floor. Core. Now it's core. Let's get back down into that bear hover position. Back to our forward fold here. We'll tuck the chin, roll yourself. Imagine you're trying to sniff your own belly button. Get as close to folded in half as you can, lightly keeping those blades retracted and those hips forward. We'll come all the way down. We'll come out and right away, let's keep the knees off the floor unless you'd like to do this from the floor. That's fine too. We're hovering already. Shoulders pulled down, core brace. Now without twisting, don't spill the bowl of Christmas punch on your back. Point your foot. Three points of contact. Three, two, switch. Point your foot. Three, two, switch. Point, three, two, switch. One more time. Three, now all feet down, hands down, knees stay up. Pull together, pull together, pull together. Then press away from center, lifting the hips. Walk the feet to the hands or the hands to the feet. And then stack yourself up through center, all the way to tolly tall. Back to tolly tall. Mm. Arms down low, feet in that first or second position as you choose. Shrug once, but just once, and then continue to push those shoulders low. From here, arms overhead. Look overhead and then look to one side as you open to the third position arms. Then look at the hand as you go overhead then out to the side. Same thing, one more time here. Looking out to the side, those nice soft elbows, and move from that shoulder socket. Armpits low, and then return those hands down low, and then anything that loosens up that tension from here. Well, Lauren, we have some fast stuff and some slow stuff. Frappes for the fast, and rond de jambe after for the Excellent. slow. Start in that first position, find the ankle, then strike, pull, strike, find the back of the ankle, strike, back of the ankle, side, front. Now two to the front, front and front, side and side, back and back, side and side. One more for three to the front, one more, three and three, two, one, three of them. Two of them, one more out the back, and then three, and two, and one. Now it's that petite batman time. So climb the leg, standing tall, standing tall, two or three more petite batmans. Then from here, flat footed, find the attitude. Lauren says my attitude about attitude is wrong. I need to get my foot up. So practice that external rotation, challenge your balance, maybe contort it a little bit, but then pull it back to the knee and return to tall. Switching sides, hop, skips, and jumps. Have fun in your practice no matter what you do, starting with our frappes. Strike, side, back, and side. Front and front, side to side. Back also for two, and then the side for one more each. And three to the front, two, and one, and three, and two, and one, and back, and back, and back, and last time to the side for three. Then in, and petit bam on time, climb that leg, climb that leg, climb that leg, finish in front, challenge your attitude position here, cramp that standing leg, as much work as it is here, it's a lot more work on that standing one. Three, two, knee side. 
<clears throat> return tall. Let's stay right here and working on our favorite Ronde de Jambe. First on a straight leg, second on a bent. Start by tondoing to the front. Whoops, sorry. Opening up the leg, reaching around, pulling all the way through first to the front. Then straight legs return to the back, point out the back, open the hip to the side, to the front, and first. Now on the fondue and stretch, pull the leg through with a point, straight leg to the back, whip around and in. Climb the leg, check. Your attitude, next, and perhaps drive down on those metatarsal heads, those demi points, and hold a balance for three, two, return the knee side, return to that first position, <laughs> and shake it out. Shake it out. One last time. Same thing, stiff leg or straight leg for the rond de jambe first, followed by our bent. Tondu to the front, open. Keep those hips going forward as that leg navigates those corners out the back and through first to the front. Straight legs, reach back, hips stay forward, open to the side, front, back. Now fondue and stretch. Bring that leg all the way through, straight on the knee to the back, fondue, stretch, pull through. Then pull up, find retire, then find that attitude, and if allowed, challenge that on those demi points. Squeeze your bum, brace your core, hold. Beautiful arms there, Lauren. Return the knee to the side, first position, and down. Shakes are allowed. Whew. Lauren, any other surprises or strength tips for us on the floor here for one more set? Let's finish with a side plank. Ah, great. Okay. Let's this time get to the floor by going backwards. <laughs> Just kidding. So funny. Tripped you. So funny. Okay. Let's do, <laughs> extend our spine. Nice long spine forward. And then we'll end up in our fold. We'll walk ourselves out. Bring the knees down. Bring the body down. End up on your sideline. In your sideline position, biggest thing is make sure this elbow is nice and underneath the shoulder towards the hip. Sometimes I even like to pull it under a bit more. Shoulders packed, hips are forward, knees are stacked. Take your top arm, touch your bottom obliques. Pull your ribs away from the floor, feel that engagement. Keep lifting to lift your hips away from the floor. Pushing your hips forward. I have that sky hook and I'm getting pulled up to the sky. If you'd like more, extend that top leg. And then to lift it, lift it from the cheek and keep pulling away from the ground. Try to create this nice long line from your shoulder out your toe, lifting away from the floor for four, three, two, legs, legs, legs will connect, hips will come down, and then gently relax. If you're on a wood floor, it's mandatory that you do this. To switch sides. If you're not, you're lost. Elbow underneath shoulder. Hips are extended, knees are bent. Top hand pulls the ribs away from the floor. Then continue lifting sky hook up. From here, if you'd like more, take that top leg. Feel the cheek. Engage the lift. Reach. Long. Hold. Pulling away from that floor. Breathing. Bracing. Reaching. And then knees will connect, hips will come down, and then lightly relax. Excellent. From here, oh, Ian wants to do a push up. So let's tuck our hips from our knees. Do a push up. <laughs> from our knees or our toes, press away, tilt the tailbone towards the ceiling as you walk those hands towards the feet. Try to get as close as you can, keeping your hands flat, and then roll yourself up through. To tall. One last movement for that rib cage again here. We want that strength in Lauren's sideline plank, but also that suppleness to move around. So grab that bar, feet in your first position or position of your choice, arm down low. Initiate the chin tuck, then that light flex forward, up and over the belly button. Then rotate towards the bar that you're holding on to and drive the action of the arm as you reach up and overhead through the rib cage. Easy does it on that side bend of the back corner. 
complete the circle to the front, pull down on the rib cage to get tall. Repeat, modest chin tuck, flex forward, reach away from the bar in a rotation, the armpits stay low, drive through the rib cage as we lift up and over, enjoy that stretch, and full circle back to the front, and then tall. Turn yourself around. We'll switch that out one last time here for today. Punisher. Rib rolls. Punisher. Whoa, look at those hops. So from here, little chin tuck, modest as always, flexing forward next. Caught a reindeer. Then open to the side, then up and over, moving through the rib cage gently, incorporating our side bend and circling to the front, pull down to get tall. Then modest chin tuck, easy flex forward, rotate away from the bar to a new corner, armpits stay low, we lift up and over, and then circling back and around to the front, <sighs> and let it wiggle. Half hour bar practice goes by pretty darn quick, but we play with our strength at our bars, with our bells, and in our handstands four days a week live on YouTube. So to our patrons, to our YouTubers at large, and our most important members in the online portal, thank you for another year as we have been doing this now for very close to two full years online. So we look forward to doing it more with you in 2022. Until then, have a great holiday season. Keep up your skills at the bar with the bell. Make time to play, family and friends. And eat some cookies. And eat some cookies and too. And cheese. Eat some cookies. Thanks too. for joining us. My name's Lauren. I'm Ian. And we're Bars and Bells. We're Bars and Bells. Take care. Stay strong and we'll train Come soon. soon. Goodbye. Bye bye. Mmm, such a good stretch. Hmm. <laughs>